your your group's chances are maybe for a medal and did Matt's experience at Worlds last year provide hope for for US 1500 guys? Yeah, so um, I think I have a great chance to medal. I mean, my thing right now has just been probably the best that it's ever been. Um, it's really stepped up from 2011, especially because I've brought in uh, my new strength coach, uh, Trey Cepeda. I mean, I've been with him for a while, just kind of got back with him. Um, there's a lot of uh, new things that have also changed. but. Um, I guess uh, I, I, like Matt's, Matt's medal last year definitely did open up a lot of eyes, um, and, uh, and of course, I mean, that just goes to show that the teams can be beat, and it's always possible to, you know, to win and to do yeah. well. How satisfying was it to actually win this race? I mean, you've been top three every year since 2006. Right. I don't think you've ever won a U.S. title right. before. Was that something special? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. I mean, it, like you just said, since 2006, there's just been all these things kind of in my way. Um, not really things, but just people that are just so good. Um, you know, Alan Webb, 2006, Bernard Lagat, 2007. Um, and just all these other things just kind of been along the way that just happened. So this win, I mean, um, it's almost like I have um, it's all these emotions built up, and it, it feels like I don't have any emotions. I'm just kind of in awe. It almost feels unreal to me, um, just especially because of all the things that I went through in 2011, just with the World Championships, me um, kind of um, strain, straining a hamstring, and then kind of getting over that, and then just really um, just kind of getting out of this, uh, I guess, depression out of that after the World Championships and putting myself back together. How, how long did you hold on to that? How long did that sit with you, the World Championships? Um, you know, uh, my hamstring was, I mean, it was still bothering me even in, even in November. On occasion, I can still feel it. It's not as bad anymore because I've done a lot of work on it. Um, I mean, I, it feels pretty strong now, but I do feel a little whatever it may be in there. But mentally, uh, how, what about that? When you're mentally, saying? mentally, I think it's gone. Mentally, I think right now I'm probably the best that I've ever been in. Um, definitely the biggest thing is, is just trying to be back where, where I was when I was like 21, 22. I know, that, I know the body is not, probably, maybe not going to always be there, but the mind can definitely be there. And just really feeling, feeling that strength and that energy from, from 22, 23, I guess. Well, there's, there's been all this talk about the Hayward magic. How's it feel to be, how satisfying is it to be the guy who kind of slay the dragon? <laughs> Yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. I mean, these guys, um, I mean, I'm not, not taking anything away from them. Um, I know what it feels like. I mean, the University of Texas, anytime they have uh, Texas Relays, it's kind of the same thing. So I know that every time you step onto the track, and you're the, you're the hometown favorite. Uh, for some reason, you get you definitely have this um, just a, I mean, It just gives you this extra strength, or I don't know if it's like a vibe or whatever, whatever it may be. But it definitely gives you something to, to come out and, and hit everybody pretty hard with. What's next for you? Are you going to go to Europe and maybe London? A couple. You always seem to run well in London. What? Yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I think I'll leave probably sometime next week. I'm going to kind of do a, kind of, uh, a setup race, an 800 meter race, just to kind of get, get it out of the leg, get out of the system, or get the travel out of the, out of the system. And then I'll be probably heading into the, the Crystal Palace race, the Aviva, London Aviva race uh, on the 14th. And then, uh, 15 there. Yes, sir, 1,500 meters. Well, actually, it's going to be the mile, excuse me. What, does the eight worry you at all with the hamstring? Or, or no, 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 no. I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I feel like I'm 100%. I mean, uh, I feel great. Um, you know, I'm going to continue training the way I've been training. If not, even add a lot more things into my training that have been kind of hard to add because because of these last couple races. Leo, you've, uh, I think it's safe to say you're the most consistent at a championship, you know, U.S. championship of any U.S. miler, 1500 meter runner since 2006, only one that's been on every team. How, yeah. What is it about you? How do you do it every time? You know, well, first of all, I think there is this kind of a sense of, um, like, a, a sense of um, joy and happiness uh, to know that, you know, I'm always a guy kind of under the radar. Nobody always, I always get people kind of shooting me down, like, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, this guy's better, that guy's better. But it, it kind of does give me a sense of joy that, that I always somehow end up back on top. Um, of course, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of, every time you, you do get knocked down, it's, you know, I mean, it was uh, kind of on a, on a, I believe it was a, a, a Rocky quote, you know, it's like, it's not about how you, how high you get or something, or it's how you get up. And I really feel like that's what it's all about. It's how you get up, put yourself back together. And I mean, do you just that, that last lap of a race like this? I mean, you just seem to be in position, able to kick. I mean, yeah. it's always there when you need it. Why? Why do you think that is? Well, um, 
first of all, I mean, I, you know, it's, I've been very blessed to, to be, um, I guess, the size that I am. Um, you know, you look at Andy, he's probably almost twice as, twice the size of me, but, you know, I've, I've been very blessed with um, large heart, you know, my heart has really given me a lot of strength, um, you know, and I like to say the heart of a lion, because my Leo, Leo the lion, heart of a lion, so that's actually from a buddy of mine, so I can't take that, but uh, that's really, I think, what gives me the strength and, and that energy to kind of propel forward, as they say, as the New York Times put it up, um, Ferrari engine and a, and a pinto body. <laughs> what's, what's been the, I guess, the, the best team so far that you've made? What's been the best memory? Uh, this, this, this one, one, this one, without a doubt, um, just because of all six years of work, six years of work, and all this pain and all this, um, yeah, just really a lot, a lot of pain, a lot of sacrifice to get to this moment. Um, I mean, I really didn't think I was going to be able to win this. I mean, I knew it was going to be tough. I knew I, I knew I had a chance, but uh, it, for some reason, it just always seemed so far, and um, I got it. What about what about London now? You've uh, you've been to a few international championships. Yeah. What do you, what do you have to do to improve? Yeah, well, the great do what you did yeah, well, the great thing about this race, I think this this race definitely puts me in a you know great position, especially mentally. Um, I think it puts me back to where I was in 2008, where I was just unstoppable. And uh, if all goes well, that's where I'm going.